kid. Uh, you guys got off to a really good start. Uh, I wonder if it, at some point, uh, did, did maybe the second game and back to back catch up with you guys in any sense? Oh man, there's, there's no excuse. I mean, I I take full responsibility, you know, for this loss. Uh, I need to be better uh, throughout the whole entire game, smoking layups. Uh, um, defensively, I, I take pride in on that on the floor, making sure that guys are in the right spots. Um, and, uh, you know, I just got to be, be better, uh, best, especially on the second half of back-to-back end without one of our uh, main guys, main pieces uh, not playing. So um, this all falls on me, nobody else. Um, um, that's just how I feel, and uh, we'll, I'll be better. In that regard, though, was it, did you take something good out of this game when Reggie started to see a few fall uh, and, and uh, the rookie looked fairly pretty good again? Yeah, you know, Jaden, you know, uh, looking a lot more comfortable out there on the floor. Uh, Reggie's doing a great job like he does uh, uh, being a 3 and D uh, uh, type player, uh, guarding the best player and, and knocking down his threes, uh, starting to get his rhythm back. So uh, um, the second half showed a lot of fight, a lot of heart. Um, we could take that away from this game. Uh, but the second quarter, uh, if we uh, had a better second quarter, I feel like we could have uh, definitely uh, put ourselves in position, you know, to win this ball game. And how much of the, is this a learning process right now that, you know, Luke is off this game, but so many pieces out, Jaden's playing more minutes. It just seems like there's a lot of moving parts. Uh, it's just a lot of moving parts, uh, you know, but that's part of the season. Uh, but I think the posit- positive uh, thing that's going to come out of it uh, is, is when when we get down to the to the the last final stretch of the, of the season um, and everybody has that experience right now on the floor, I think it's going to pay off, uh, especially with a lot of guys that are not getting a ton of minutes. But them being out there, uh, knowing their personnel and knowing uh, our defensive tendencies and, and knowing the plays out there, uh, I think it's going to help us out tremendously uh, down the stretch. Tonight, notwithstanding, you reached the midpoint of the season officially tonight. How would you sum up the first half of the year? What's our record? 23 and 18? <laughs> uh, I, mean, it's, I mean, it's bad. I mean, it could be, it could be it could be a lot worse. I think a lot of guys aren't aren't, aren't satisfied um, with, you know, with our uh, play. We got we had a lot of bad losses, a lot of losses that we wish we had back. Um, it's uh, a new team, new season, uh, a lot of things to learn uh, with different moving parts. Uh, a lot of guys injured, so um, I think with that being said. I feel like we were in the same position last year. Um, with guys, have, including myself, uh, out with COVID and, and having uh, guys that don't play that many minutes come in and, and play hard. And us watching that really propelled us into uh, finishing strong. So I think for the most part, I think we're in that direction. Can you talk about being in the same position around this time last year? Then what gives you hope that the second half of will- you know, be as good as it was. Uh, I think for the most part, for now, we just got to take one game at a time. Uh, most importantly, going to this uh, this All Star break, which is coming up, uh, finishing strong, um, finishing on a positive note, um, with a lot of really good challenges for us moving forward um, and against really good, high caliber playoff type caliber teams. Um, so for the most part, I think it's going to test us a lot. Uh, it's going to show a lot uh, about our team moving forward. But I'm confident. Shea Gildas Alexander scored a lot of his points in the paint. What challenges did he pose uh, to the defense today? I think with Shea, you know, he does an amazing job of, you know, getting to the free throw line. Um, when you see a lot of those go in, uh, it's it, it, it opens the door for the the rest of your game, uh, especially with him. Uh, he he does a great job of just manipulating the the the. The defense and uh, and lulling you into falling asleep to where he he could get crafty and uh, and make a really nice plays for his team. Uh, so you know each year the, the the young man is getting better and better and better. So um, you know you got you know tip his hat to him for the work that he's put in off season. You highlighted the second quarter, um, like just looking at the stat sheet. Um, it seemed the offense um, kind of struggled to get the ball, like uh, on close entry passes. Uh, what did you see, like kind of in those plays? Uh, I would say, for the most part, you know, they did a great job of uh, tilting, tilting with the low man coming over early, um, being behind the 
behind uh, C. Wood, um, and the guy that's primary defender is on C. Wood uh, fronting him. So uh, it, make, it makes it a little bit challenging for the post to go in there. So that's on us. We got to do a better job of that. Weak side got to come up, uh, fill the gap in the middle of the floor, uh, get the ball there, and hopefully have a high-low or weak side uh, corner three. So uh, we just got to be better.